bull boxer breed details, puppy prices, and more for the pit bull boxer mix. When combined to create a boxer pit bull mix, also known as a bull boxer, a boxer, and a pit bull, which are both wonderful family pets on their own, result in a spirited, sharp-witted dog. Learn what characteristics, dietary requirements, grooming standards, and other traits you can anticipate from this crossbreed. In many cases, the best family pets are dogs of mixed breeds. Even though a lot of people are drawn to purebred dogs, don't forget that there are lots of wonderful mutts and rescue facilities across the nation who are just as worthy of a loving forever home. Not to mention the Boxer Pitbull mix, a wild and devoted breed. Depending on the background from which they were bred, Pitbull Boxer mixes can have a variety of personalities and characteristics. The loyalty of the American Pitbull Terrier and the friendliness of the Boxer, however, are typically combined. Prior to choosing a mix like this, it can be helpful to learn more about the potential traits that this dog might have. The characteristics of this mixed breed pup are similar to those of other pit bull mixes. Overview of the breed. Pitbull Terrier is the parent breed. An aggressive fighting dog that was initially raised as a pet became a wonderful family member. It is thought that the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the American Pit Bull Terrier were one breed at one time. Originally created in 19th century England, they were both used for both illegal dog fighting and bull baiting. In the 1930s, some breeders started concentrating on improving the breed's qualities as a companion animal rather than one for fighting, and at this time, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier became an officially recognized breed, but the APBT did not. The AKC officially recognized the American Staffordshire Terrier in 1972, making it an even more refined variation of the breed. The United Kennel Club, UKC, and the Continental Kennel Club both recognize the American Pit Bull Terrier as a separate breed, though the American Kennel Club has yet to formally recognize it, CKC. Recent years have seen the emergence of the term Pit Bull. It is a collective term used to describe a number of different bully breeds rather than one particular breed in particular. The American Pit Bull Terrier most frequently comes to mind when thinking about it. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, and American Bulldog are a few other breeds that are occasionally referred to as pit bulls. The phrase now carries a bad reputation, largely as a result of careless breeders, owners, and media sensationalism. The introduction of breed-specific legislation in many nations and states, which ranges from an outright ban to restrictions on owning this type of breed, has only served to fuel the hysteria and spread unjustified myths. Boxer. In the U.S., boxers are among the breeds of dogs that are most beloved by families. Once again, the boxer's origins are as a fighting dog, and it is believed that they originated in Germany. They eventually gained notoriety for their hunting and guarding prowess, and in Germany, they were the first dogs to be employed as police dogs. They were recognized by the AKC in 1904, but it wasn't until the 1930s that they really started to gain ground. They have been among the most popular breeds in the United States in recent years, and in 2017, they were listed as the 11th most popular breed. They are frequently bred with different breeds because of their popularity. Temperament of a Bull Boxer The Boxer-Pitbull mix can be summed up with the words smart, energetic, and lively. Despite the fact that both the Boxer and the American Pit Bull Terrier were originally bred for their guarding and fighting abilities, the Boxer has recently placed more of an emphasis on creating a dog that is better suited to being a companion. The fact that Boxers are not typically associated with canine aggression is probably the biggest personality difference between them. They have a tendency to be a little overly enthusiastic, rambunctious, zany, and even a little hyperactive, but they are typically very playful and incredibly affectionate with both people and other dogs. Incredibly steadfast and devoted to its family, the American Pit Bull Terrier is well known for this trait. As a result of their affection and tolerance for children, they are occasionally called nanny dogs. 
Although they are frequently sociable dogs, they should always be under adult supervision when around young children due to their size and strength. Teaching kids how to properly interact with dogs is another important aspect. If a child disregards the space and boundaries that their dog has set for them, even the most patient dogs may lose their patience. The APBT is a breed that, with the proper training and socialization, can get along with other dogs and animals well, but they are also known for occasionally being reactive and aggressive toward other dogs. If your dog is a boxer APBT mix, it's possible that they would do better living in a home with just one other dog, where you might need to make careful introductions to determine whether they get along. A lot of purebred puppies, such as Labradors, are crossed with the APBT breed. Care must be taken around young children so that your dog doesn't unintentionally become too rough if they inherit more of the excitable boxer temperament. They are both canines who enjoy receiving a lot of human attention. In light of this, most boxer pit bull mixes will benefit from residing in a home with frequent visitors. If left too much alone, APBTs in particular are prone to developing separation anxiety. Sizing and appearance. A medium-sized dog, this mixed breed is. Athletic and muscular dogs include the boxer and APBT. While the boxer is typically taller and slimmer, it is a little heavier. With a wider chest and head, the APBT is stockier. Short, smooth coats are a feature of both breeds. This medium-sized mixed breed dog is a breed. Males can range in height from 17 to 20 inches and weight from 60 to 80 pounds. A female, on the other hand, can range in size from 50 to 70 pounds and stand 16 to 19 inches tall from paw to shoulder. Because the size and shape of the two breeds are similar, unlike some hybrid dogs, boxer pit bull mixes won't look too drastically different from one dog to the next. Paint and colors. The colors of boxer pit bull hybrids are varied. Typically fawn or brindle in color, boxers occasionally sport black or white markings. The AKC does not recognize all white boxers as a breed standard, but this color is occasionally seen in boxers. Due to the greater range of colors available to American Pit Bull Terriers, there is a higher likelihood that a boxer pit bull mix will result in a greater variety of coat colors. In addition to black, white, fawn, brown, tan, and brindle, they can also have mixed and solid coat colors. In addition to the standard black color, they also come in red and blue hues. These variations are frequently referred to as blue nose or red nose pit bulls because of the color of their noses and nails, which are also the same shade as their coats. Exercise. In general, dogs of both breeds have a lot of energy. It's unlikely that your boxer pit bull mix will want to spend the entire day on the couch. They are a dog that will benefit from getting at least one or two good daily walks or other types of exercise. Even participating in dog sports might be something they like to do. The flat, brachycephalic face of the boxer breed makes it more likely for them to become overheated than other dog breeds. In order to prevent heat exhaustion in hot weather, especially when exercising, more care must be taken if your dog has the face shape of a boxer. It might be necessary to walk them in the early morning and late at night during the summer to help keep them at a comfortable temperature. Training. When trained early, the boxer pit bull mix responds well to correction. Training and socialization will be crucial because of the breed's respective strengths. If your dog exhibits the hyperactivity that some boxers do, they might act a little wild and be challenging to control. In addition, they are a breed of dog that occasionally likes to jump. For you, them, and other dogs, things could become dangerous if they are not good with other dogs, like some APBTs, if they are too strong, and if you do not have good leash control. For you to have a well-rounded and manageable dog, both dogs need as much training and socialization as possible from the beginning. Both of them are witty canines who enjoy being petted and are incredibly responsive to positive, rewarding training techniques. Both individuals enjoy chewing and have strong jaws. You can prevent any potentially destructive behavior in the house by providing plenty of tough, interactive chew toys and other enrichment. Grooming. When it comes to grooming, these puppies are fairly low maintenance. 
you shouldn't anticipate a high maintenance grooming schedule from your boxer slash pit bull mix because the coats of both breeds are short and smooth a clip out won't require an expensive trip to the groomer even so they both shed so giving them both a good curry comb brushing once a week will help to remove dead hairs keep the coat and skin healthy and reduce the amount of hair that ends up all over the house it will probably still be wise to invest in a vacuum that can easily remove pet hair and a lint roller for your clothes health mixes of boxers and bulldogs have a 14 year lifespan you won't be aware of the parents past if you adopt a boxer pit bull mix from a rescue facility to prevent any potentially expensive medical expenses we would always advise thinking about pet insurance if you purchased your dog as a puppy it is critical to ensure that the breeder was ethical and had health checked the parents to ensure that they weren't purposefully breeding from dogs with congenital diseases you should be aware that certain conditions are inheritable in some breeds particularly the boxer in particular skin cancers lymphomas and mast cell tumors have all been linked to the breed of boxers dilated cardiomyopathy dcm and aortic stenosis are two other heart conditions they are known to develop even though neither of these conditions can be cured they can both be managed and frequently shorten the lifespan of the dog if they are detected early enough in addition boxers are more likely to develop joint issues like hip dysplasia which can cause early arthritis development compared to boxers american pit bull terriers are generally thought to have fewer inheritable conditions but they are still more prone to several ailments additionally they are more susceptible to developing skin conditions and allergies hip dysplasia hypothyroidism and hip dysplasia related conditions and underactive thyroid which causes their metabolism to slow down fortunately treatment for hypothyroidism and skin conditions usually involves medication as well as dietary or lifestyle modifications nutrition having a muscular high energy dog of a manageable size is likely for you while the majority of dry foods you'd feed a boxer will work, depending on your mix's energy level, you'll want to budget for a high-quality diet. Your vet or a certified canine nutritionist may advise you to feed your dog a specific diet if they do have allergies, like some APBTs. If a food allergy is suspected, it may be necessary to follow an exclusion diet for a while to identify the possible offending food. When this is realized, it may be necessary to limit oneself to eating only foods that contain ingredients that do not aggravate the condition. Puppy prices and breeders. For your boxer slash pit bull mix, budget between $500 and $1,000. Pit bull type dogs and mixes of them, sadly, can languish in shelters for longer than some other breeds due to the unfair stigma attached to them. This means that there is a good chance that you will find a boxer pit bull mix at your neighborhood shelter who deserves a loving home. You could spend $500 to $1,000 on a puppy that is a boxer pit bull mix. Research is necessary if you decide you want a puppy and discover a breeder who has a litter of this mix. A responsible breeder will have performed the necessary health examinations on the parents, will permit you to visit the mother and her litter in a loving environment, will be providing the proper early socialization and handling, and will not separate the mother and puppies until they are fully weaned and at least eight weeks old. Concluding remarks. The perfect family pet might be a boxer slash pit bull mix. With people, both breeds are typically incredibly loving and affectionate. They would benefit from an active home with people around for most of the day because they are likely to be a high energy dog that needs a lot of exercise and enrichment. If they have a higher percentage of APBT traits, they may not necessarily enjoy the company of other dogs and would prefer living alone or would require careful introductions to other dogs. Given their potential strength, it will be crucial to put time into training so you can curtail any undesirable or difficult behavior. Remember to check with your neighborhood rescue organization because this particular mix may be looking for a loving home.